the Golgi bodies pinch off these little vesicles. And a vesicle is nothing more than a bubble of cell membrane. It's like a mini cell inside the cell. It's like a mini nucleus, but it's filled with stuff. And the vesicle filled with stuff can carry out many different functions. We have different kinds of vesicles. So let's make a list. First of all, vesicle is just a bubble of cell membrane. I don't know, is bubble of cell membrane proper? I'm going to, like, show you my phospholipid bilayer in not very lovely format, but, you know, here's my, those are my bilayers. Whoa, you get it, right? Eh, eh. <laughs> it's a phospholipid bilayer. Just trust me. And so inside here is stuff. And that stuff can, we can do multiple things with that. We have specialized vesicles called lysosomes. Lysosomes, in lysosomes, the stuff is digestive enzymes. So a lysosome would, like, fuse with something that it wanted to digest and destroy. And then whatever it was digesting and destroying, it would break it up. It's like Legos. Inside the, okay, let's imagine that the stuff is Legos. And you have a bubble of Legos, and then you have a lysosome filled with what? Not Legos, filled with digestive enzymes. And then, this is so cool, they're both made of cell membrane. So the only thing, like, all we're going to have happen here is that they're going to fuse. And take a second to imagine, like, putting those together. I wish that I could, like, animate that thing so I could show you how, you know what, they could fuse and a tiny little break in the cell membrane and then connect with the edges, and now you have a half green, half purple cell membrane bubble. But we have Legos and digestive enzymes in the same bubble. And the digestive enzymes are going to be like, Legos, punk Legos. We're going to take you guys apart into your little parts and pieces because we need to build a super crazy crash car conductor airplane. And so the digestive enzymes break apart the Legos, and now they're all in one bubble so they can do that. If you had your digestive enzymes just floating around in your cell, bad idea because you've got a lot of stuff that they could digest in your cell. They could start taking apart your ribosomes and your mitochondria and your nucleus and all your DNA, like bad news. Don't let that happen. So keep the digestive enzymes in the bubble. Keep the stuff you want to digest in a bubble. Fuse the bubbles. Connect them. Brilliant. And then digest to your heart's content. And then we've got all these pieces that we can actually use to do something else. Like let's build something else whatever it was that I just said I was going to build, that airplane thing that I said I was going to build. Now we've got the parts, so we can totally do it. Lysosomes are a type of vesicle. In plants, you have um, a vacuole. And vacuoles are found in plants. I should have made it green just so you could be a little visual. They have a central vacuole and they're fill, it's filled with water. Whoa. Filled with water. And it actually takes up most of the inside of a plant cell is this central vacuole. When a plant cell starts feeling a little bit sad and wilty, the central vacuole loses water. And then it was like a big balloon in the middle holding the whole plant cell, like, open and rigid. And then when it um, kind of starts getting less water in there, can you imagine how, oh, the plant 
is actually like the plant cell is going to kind of shrink down and the plant's going to wilt. When a plant wilts, that's why you have to water it when it wilts, because its central vacuole, which is filled with water, is like getting empty. That's a terrible idea. Don't let your central vacuole get empty, whatever you do. Do you guys feel like cell rock stars? In the next lecture, we're going to talk about how we get stuff in and out of the cell membrane. And it is not necessarily easy, but it's fun. Okay, I'll see you for the next lecture. Bye-bye.